I spy with my little eye my new favorite dino, the Hyena Don. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of them here. Now, um, one thing I've noticed, they don't seem to give two shits about what they attack. So far, they've attacked every single thing that they've come across. So maybe they are uh, cocky little bastards or they're actually pretty strong. So there's a couple things we know about the Hyena Don. One, you need Gilly. So get yourself some Gilly. Two, you cannot passive tame the leader. So if you see one with that, uh, that leader buff on it, it's going to be quite obvious. Don't bother trying to tame that one. It's not going to happen. Two, you need to crouch up to them nice and slow like and then touch their butts. The only way to tame the hyena don is to touch it, caress it, and lovingly pet it on the booty. So we're going to go ahead and try and do that. Now, if you guys are curious where we're at, we are right here. This, uh, this mountain right here is apparently abundantly covered with hyena dons. Haven't had a problem at all finding it. If you guys don't, don't do it. Okay, okay. Chillax, calm your tits. At least they're not attacking me. I was a little worried. Uh, holy shit, that thing just went flying through the sky. Um, so yeah, this island here, which is on the top right corner, which is uh, at the intersection of uh, 3080, found them, found, found a ton of them here. I'm going to go ahead and get my flying mount just in case. Pateri Cruise over here. And um, we're going to tame ourselves some hyena don today. I want to tame up a few of them and check out how their pack bonus is. And eventually I want to breed them and get tons of mutations. So if that is something you guys want to see in the future and you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. I do lots and lots of breeding and taming and mutations, so if that's something you're into, you're definitely going to want to subscribe for a lot of those videos. And if you do find yourselves enjoying this video at any point, don't forget to smash that get away! See? They just attack anything. They don't attack me when I'm on land, though. We're going to go ahead and find one that's not the pack leader and see if we can't tame one up. Where are they? Did they all... They just dipped out. Oh, there's one. Okay, so... Let's see just how hard they are to sneak up on. We just got to pet it. I'm a, God, stupid pterodon. Cock blocking my taming. So, it's supposed to be pretty hard to sneak up on. Oh, you got to crouch. Touch its butt. Touch its butt. I touched it. Oh, and then it just sits there. Oh, wait, come back. Baby, come back. I want to touch your butt again. Come here. We're going to be best friends. What level are you? This is going to take a while. Holy crap. This is a lot of butt touching. So it's like 30 seconds. So I, sh I don't want to get too antsy. Thankfully, they don't attack. <sighs> okay. Do you want your butt touched? Come here. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, we're going to be the best friends. This is the taming effectiveness is real. All right. So just don't move. Be very quiet. Be one with the grass. They can't see me if I don't move, right? Oh, that guy was... Oh, I spooked him. Damn it. Oh, they make weird noises. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to go touch this one's butt. Come here. Oh, five seconds. You guys make... You, you guys sound like cows. What's going on here? Are you a cow? Oh, man. Taming a level like a max level 180 of this is going to take hours sweet baby jesus thankfully as long as you're careful and not dumb like me just trying to hide in the grass like a freaking special plant uh they don't spook too easily once you get you know your gilly your gilly suit on your plant self and uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang out here for well it's 30 seconds we're getting about two percent each so, nah, I guess really not too long. Huh, come here. Book. Yeah, so we need 50 pets. Which is about 25 minutes. So we're going to be here for about 25 minutes. Tame up the... Oh, you bastard. I guess we're going to find out if that taming efficiency or the taming bar completely resets when you spook it. That is... so. Huh, huh, huh. I'm sorry. We're going to be friends. I promise. I'm just plant, doing plant things. Come here. Is, it, is your taming efficiency gone? No, okay, so... Th oh, hi. 
Sniff me. Sniff my butt. I'm a, we're gonna be friends. Just sniff it. I, pro I promise. Okay, backing away slowly. So thankfully the taming doesn't seem to go down. I imagine if you scare it too many times, then yeah, it's gonna go down. And it's gonna take a long time. Imagine getting it to like 90% and going up to touch its butt. It runs away and that taming bar goes away. Oh. So I guess we're gonna be back in about 25. Oh, Allosaur is down there. Really? Please don't come up here. Please don't ruin my day. I'm gonna be so mad if you ruin my day, Allosaur. Oh, okay, so there's the one we need to tame. I might scare it up the hill. Because that Allosaur is sketching me out a little bit. But anyways, we'll be back in a little bit. Man, that is a huge pack of them. So, for curiosity's sake, I want to see if... Oh, that's the wrong button. If we could pick them up with the uh, Pterodon here. Uh, looked like we had him for a second. Oh, we do. Sweet. Okay, so... What I want to do is I want to take it back to base and see if we can tame them in a pen. Because how dangerous this area can be and how long it's going to actually take to pick these guys or to, you know, tame them here. It's... Uh, <coughs> I'm dying. Oh, God. It's uh, pretty bad. So I'm going to go back to base, which is just right there. Pretty close to this area. I'm going to drop it in our taming pen and see if we can uh, just passive tame it in there. It's going to be a lot safer. It's going to make your life a lot easier, like significantly easier. You could probably also use honey now that I think about it. And I do have some honey, so we're going to give that a shot as well. I imagine it's going to make... Oh, man, honey's going to make it super easy. Should have just done that to begin with. But um, yeah, I want to just definitely test out the pen idea. Just because it's super easy that way. I mean, you, you really you really can't go wrong with a taming pen. Also, if you guys haven't found the Uteranus yet, I've got a video up on that as well. So uh, don't forget to check that out if you so desire. You jumped through the... F you rat bastard. You jumped, you jumped my fence. How could you? You're a traitor. Alright, well, you're in a safe area. So let's go ahead and grab some honey. Yeah. Okay, we've got some honey. We've got our hyena done. We're squatting. We're gonna put the honey down right about meow. Come on, little buddy. You know you want it. Touch it. That's right. <gasps> take it. Take it. Touch the butt. Touch the butt. Nailed it. And then we back off. You. Here. Here, honey. Take it. You little bastard. Well, at least we've got it in a safer area, which all that matters. I'm wondering why it's running off compared to last time. Whew. Okay. Thankfully, they don't run too far. I'm going to go ahead and squirt out another honey. That's right, little buddy. We're going to be friends. It hasn't been 30 seconds yet, so I'm going to wait for my moment. And then we're going to touch your butt touch it no so we're gonna do this for a while here squirt out the honey did you take the honey and run you little bastard all right so the key to this is definitely approaching them petting and then immediately backing off as long as you back off immediately then they don't run away and if you try and sit there like a dumb dumb trying to pretend to be a plant shit don't work don't even try it um honey definitely helps bring them to you if you really want to be doing it the super duper careful way which I highly recommend doing that if you have an ass load of honey. Because you really are going to need an ass load of honey. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to tame this thing up slowly but surely. I'll bring you guys back once we succeed. Because I'm sure you've seen enough of this nonsense already. You know it's a nightmare. But we're going to have fun with these once they're tamed. Finally got the Hyenodon tamed up. But there's one thing I want to go over before we check it out. Is uh, you're going to need the Hyenodon meat pack. So equip a Hyenodon with this to give it increased meat carrying and preservation cap capability. You also get some armor, which is quite nice. Now you're going to need to be level 19 for this. So it's not too bad. It's 290 uh, hide, 155 fiber, and 20 metal ingots. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and check out its statisticals real quick. Let's go ahead and equip its shadow. And uh, what do we got? We got 455.1 health. Not too bad. Let's see how much it goes up per. Uh, so we got 24. Not terrible. Not amazing. Let's check out its melee damage. 
162 to 165. Wow. 3% melee damage a boost. That is that. That leaves much to be desired. Okay, but anyways, let's check out what it looks like. Look at you. You're a little bit smaller than I anticipated. I make midget characters, and it is... I guess it's not that terribly small. It's a big dog, I suppose. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really want to get some mutations on these guys. It looks like we've got one, two, three. I'm thinking... I don't know if the ear... I'm imagining... I don't know if the ears is the same color as the back. It looks like it is. So I'm seeing right now three different color palettes that you can get for mutations. So I'm really hoping to get some mutations here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tame up a buttload of these on Scorched Earth. So if you guys want to see where they're tamed on Scorched and mutations and all that stuff, make sure to check out my channel in the future. I'll probably have that up later today. So don't forget to subscribe if you did like this video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get a few more of these and just see how awesome they are. But I'm going to save the taming or the breeding and mutations for Scorched Earth. So don't forget to subscribe if you do want to end up seeing those. But let's go ahead and get some more of these bad boys and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Boy, do I have a surprise for you all. You know how I said we weren't going to do any breeding today? I'm a liar. You can't believe anything I say. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We found a low-level female hyena, Don. And she's freaking beautiful. Look at this. She's amazing. She was level, uh, like, what, 24 or something like that? Uh, can I do things correctly? Jesus Christ. So she came out level 36. I guess we could check to see how much stamina goes up with each one. So we got, uh, stamina goes up quite nice. And then weight, eh... Not phenomenal. But what I do want to do, I want to get these guys to do it. You guys want to do the uh, horizontal tango? The dance with no pants? Get your groove on? We'll play some sexy music for you. Let's go ahead and put them on wandering. Put you on follow first. Put you on wandering. Put you on... Oh, I petted you. <gasps> it's so freaking adorable. Okay. Um. But yeah, we're going to make some babies. Bounce. God, I love the new uh, the new buffs and everything in the game. It makes everything look so much nicer. Hey, why are you guys not uh? Did I forget to put you on wander? No, you're making you're making the sex. It's happening. There's no hearts, but uh, it's happening. There's there's penetration happening. Um, yeah. So we'll be back. We're gonna squirt out this baby. We're gonna see what it looks like, and uh, then we're gonna give them some do do a little bit of testing. All right, time to see what their vinegar strokes look like. You guys don't know what Vinegar Strokes is. You guys need to watch the league. Best show ever. It's gonna happen. Whoa! Whoa! That's very, very aggressive. I don't appreciate that. I don't think that was necessary. We're gonna disable wandering. Disable wandering. Make that baby. You ready to be a mama? Huh? That doesn't look like a mama face. I don't know. Hopefully these babies... I bet these babies are gonna be cute. Ah, crap. It happened. I missed it squirting out, but we got one. Ooh, came out of level 53. Ooh, and it's a female, which means we get to more make more babies, ladies and gentlemen. So, wow, they could pop out with 52 HP. That is uh, not a lot of HPs. So definitely want to make sure you're around when they do pop out. But um, so we're going to do, we're going to raise this little, let's actually, let's get a little bit better look at it. Are you cute or are you horridly ugly? Why are you stuck? <gasps> it's little ears flap when it runs. <gasps> oh, I'm in love. Did your ears flap? Why is it gotta be raining? Why? Ark gods, why do you vex me? Okay, it's cute. It is definitely a cute little thing. Especially the fact that it's ears flop. The only thing that could make this thing any cuter would having its ears be all floppy and stuff like normal puppies. Face, okay, not so cute. Eh, side profile. Profile's cute. Front on view. Oh, God, it's terrible. It's terrifying. Ugh. So we're going to go ahead and get this one uh, leveled up. Or not leveled up. Fully grown. And actually, we need to see the cuddle. How long before the cuddle? Eight whole minutes. Sweet Christ. Okay. Um. So I do want to let you guys know that these, that we do have accelerated... Actually, you know what? I don't think I accelerated the cuddle rates on the server. So this is a vanilla cuddle rate, eight minutes per cuddle. So that means, 
Uh, depending on how much we get per cuddle, I'll let you know how long it's going to take. Oh boy, we'll be back for the first cuddle. Ooh, so I just realized you can actually pet the hyena Don as a baby without cuddling it. Oh, JK, what the hell was that all about? Pet. Oh, it gets a little boost. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I missed the screenshot opportunity of the century. Oh, okay, so nice. So that, sweet. Screenshots for days. Okay, <laughs> anyways, that's enough of that. We still have 57 seconds. So, these guys seem pretty cool. I'm a little worried that their health is low, but they're supposed to be smart. Aw, the level up cuddle is cool. I wonder, that's probably, I wonder if that's the exact cuddle animation from the baby. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, because I'm a little worried that their health doesn't go up enough. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I imagine the pack boost might help quite a bit. Why you gotta poop on camera like that? Oh, we gotta test out the new toilet. Ooh, we gotta poop like civilized people soon. All right, it finally wants to cuddle. Now the question is, do I just pet it? Oh no, it wants a freaking Dimetrodon egg. Are you kidding me? Why? Why do you want a Dimetrodon egg? You're the worst. Okay, the gods have given us a Dimetrodon kibble because I really want to see the darn cuddle animation. Really don't like doing that, but it's necessary. Come on. Oh, getting this to actually cooperate. So maybe if we pet and then give it the thing. Okay, so yeah, it is just the level up animation, which is still pretty darn cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get that one leveled up. Hopefully get a couple more pups out of it. And then uh, we'll go out and test them. Oh shit, we got twins. Doesn't get much better than that. We got no mutation. But bo oh, man, we got, did we get twin females? No freaking way. There is no... Okay, we got, we got another female and a male. I think just because of how long this takes, I do want to get this video out for you guys here soon. So I don't think I'm going to go for any more breeding. If you guys do want to see more breeding and mutations, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll have that video out soon. I am going to focus on taming some more of the dinos in the new patch. And then I'll be working on getting uh, mutations and all that fun stuff. Best way to tame them. I think um, the hyena don, if you build the right pen with a door to be able to get in, uh, with, uh, with a pillar in front of it so they can't escape out the door. I think that's going to be the best. I'll make a video on that here in the future as well. Hopefully sometime today, depending on the time. But uh, yeah, if you guys do find yourselves enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe. Hey, you're not freaking Spider-Man, okay? No climbing fences. No trying to escape. This is not the kind of game today, okay? Just focus. Take care of the babies. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go. We got everybody equipped with their meat packs, ready to absorb some meat. Now, the thing I forgot about them is they have super duper enhanced healing capabilities uh, when they harvest bodies and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and see. Well, that's the wrong button. Sweet Christ. Oh, can we get out of here? There we go. This button. Attack. Uh, no? Okay, we'll just punch it. I must have changed it. Okay, so they are attacking that. Dream. Okay. So, 45 damage a hit. Not bad. These guys are only level... S Keep in mind, these guys are, what, level 62? <laughs> these things are going to be phenomenal. Oh, baby. Hey, hey, you. Don't be trying to get in here. Stupid little big-ass murder chicken. Trying to think you could steal some hyena don kills. Mm -mm. Not today. So, this is the... I must have rebound the damn attack my target oh shit okay so yeah uh let's go ahead and just see that's a level 163 i want to see them take some damage whoa bobette get get oh shit's getting intense now <laughs> so wow okay the hyena don are whoa hey no fornicating out in the wilderness, okay? That's, this is not the time nor the place for that. Oh, we can also pet them to get them a little attack boost. There we go. All right, you guys need to not. So you're going to be on whistle passive. Hyena dons. There we go. Okay, so I want to do some more testing with these guys. 
Okay, they heal stupid fast. Did we lose some? We did. I really need to set up some... Hey, not you. Alright, um... Let's see, what do I want to do? How long does that that last? Seems to last quite a, quite a while. I wish I had the little timer like it does with the Uteranus um, buffs, but it doesn't seem to. Did we just get you? There we go. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and see if maybe we can kill something a little bit stronger like a Therizinosaurus <gasps> or a sheep. Let's kill that thing. They definitely seem like they could take on this Megaloceros. Take it. Butt punches. Hey. Oh, yeah. They're on. That's why. Whistle neutral. Okay. So, I want to take on something a little bit stronger, which is probably going to involve going into that horrible place. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab our Pterodon and see if we can maybe find a Rex or something. We'll see. Oh, my God. The Uteranus do not swim well, nor do the Hyenodon, it seems. So, don't run them into water. So I decided to not fly anywhere. Ooh, a murder chicken. The perfect battle. Come on, boys. Oh, they swim so slow. What are you guys doing? Ooh, Carno and a Diplo. Let's see how horribly this goes. Uh, wait. My hyena died. Oh, they're attacking the damn murder chicken. Whoops. So this isn't going to go well for that hyena don at least. Okay, you can you can just stop now. <laughs> Did you guys win? What are you killing? Are you getting attacked by freaking mega piranha? You stupid hyenas. You're supposed to avoid fights. Come on. Come this way. Come hither, children. You guys are not the brightest animals on earth, are you? No, you're not. We're about to lose a uh Actually, he's doing quite well. That healing power they've got is uh, is pretty pretty splendid. Do not put the hyenodons in water. I repeat, do not put the hyenodons in water. So, they seem to be faring surprisingly well against uh, the Diplo and the Carno. Mainly because they have a pretty beast healing capability. Look at that. Nice. So, I imagine if we can double their damage output, get them up to maybe like 100, 150, and just have a massive pack of these things, that's, that is the biggest salmon I have ever seen. Holy Jesus. It's mammoth salmon. Yeah, I imagine these guys are going to be pretty good. Like, really, really good. Running around on a dire wolf, now that we've got the dire wolf pack bonus. Mmm. Baby, that's going to be nice. That's a pretty Therizinosaurus. I think this is going to be our last kill of the day. Oh, yeah. Therizino's going to... Might, uh... Do some damage here, it looks like. With that armor piercing. Oh, oh we're going to lose some. Oh. 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 Okay, we lost... We lost two. But that was a level 152. And that thing was... Wow, they healed up quick. Holy crap. They were at almost no health. Second that fight was over, full health. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, these are some low-level hyenodons, and they're pretty good already. So these things are going to be monstrosities when they're <laughs> when they're max level. So if you do want to see some max level hyenodon action, don't forget to subscribe for future videos as well as mutations. But anyways, everybody, that is all I've got. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to support, smash that like button, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.